हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम एट सुधीर आई कोच अ चैनल फॉर बडिंग ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस एज यू ऑल नो दैट इन लास्ट फ्यू डिकेट्स वी हैव सीन सो मेनी एडवांसमेंट्स एडवांसमेंट्स इन कैटरेक्ट सर्जरी हाउ एवर इट स्टिल इट इज़ नॉट फ्लॉलेस स्टिल देयर इज अ क्वेस्ट फॉर बेस्ट आई विल एंड बेस्ट डिलीवरी सिस्टम टू इंजेक्ट आई विल इन साइड दी आई दिस पेशेंट वॉज ऑपरेटेड एल्सवेयर एंड ही प्रजेंटेड विद डिप्लोपिया इन द पोस्ट ऑफ On examination, we found sunken eye well, so we decided to reposition the eye well. Posterior capsule was absolutely normal, so re- we reopened the side port incisions and filled the chamber with high viscosity viscoelastic, and reopened the main clear caudal incision. There is always a challenge to expand the eye well, especially hydrophobic implant through the small incision. Several techniques of cutting the haptic of eye well. for explantations are known but cutting a hydrophobic implant inside the eye is always a great challenge when i dialed the eye well i found one haptic was missing due to defective haptic the eye well was decentered so i decided to remove the eye well and implant a fresh new intraoptical lens carefully i dialed out the haptic out from the bag and placed it in the ante chamber Here I decided not to cut it, but uh, fold it inside the inter chamber and remove out through the 3.2 millimeter incision. Whatever you are doing, you have to be careful about the two important surfaces. Was one is the corneal endothelium and second is the posterior capsule. I filled the inter chamber with viscoelastic to protect the endothelium, and I, I placed a RS repositor behind the eye well to protect the posterior capsule. I held the eye well optic with the Macpherson forceps and I rotated the eye well against the iris repositor which was placed behind the eye well. With the firm pressure successfully we can fold the intraocular lens. A folded eye well can be easily explanted through the 3.2 mm mm clear corneal incision. Selection of viscoelastic is very important always try to use the combination of dispersive and cohesive viscoelastics for the safe and better results. and always select a firm and hard uh, iris repositor here after successful explantation i filled the chamber with viscoelastic and implanted a fresh hydrophobic implant inside the bag medical education is always a continuous course of learning whatever you do and or learn might be different from others and sharing of uh, our experiences always gives a thought in others mind so please don't hesitate to share your experiences and opinions thorough thorough removal of scolastic is always very important remove it thoroughly from the ante chamber and always go behind the eye well and wash any amount of scolastic which is there because uh, any leftover of scolastic might give raised intraocular pressure in the post op thanks for watching